let's read that in my book here. No, the, uh, the, um, the, um, the, um, Thomas Frank book, the people know, or as would, uh, as would, uh, as Kamala Harris would say, the people know. And, uh, you know, I took my time, you know, whatever. I could have finished, but I don't want to. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, here's my plan. Here's my plan. Here's my plan. Because I got another book got in, right? And uh, it's just my morning tea. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not hot. It's, you know, room temperature, whatever. Mm. <clears throat> but here's what I'm about to do. I'm going to leave the Breathe book. You can't see it. I got it on the shelf there. I'm going to leave the Breathe book here. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, Breathe. It was Breath. I forget one of those words, right? Like that. You know, the James Nestor book, great book. Do that here because I finished it. But this one here, the Thomas Frank book, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, leave it here, right? But I'll be back in December so I can keep on reading it because I actually like I like this book. I like this book a lot. And I want to read some shit with you. Uh, just talking about this, uh, this uh, what was called uh, the NAM. Or the National Association of Manufacturers, and they changed. Well, National Association, they were, they were a group that that were that started right, and then the, the central idea in the NAM's vast output in the 30s, according to historian uh, Richard somebody, uh, uh, Tedro Tedlo, uh, was the harmony of all classes. Is there something manufacturers association or whatever? Harmony of all classes. Okay. Um, now. Uh, 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 uh. There was no no conflict between business owners and business employee. The NAM maintained. Okay, it goes on like that. But then they 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 would get in and would get stuffings beaten out of by the you know by the, the workers or whatever it is. So they they couldn't take it anymore because Roosevelt was putting in a new deal and all the rest of that stuff. And so anyway, uh, they they get, they they put a whole lot of demands on Roosevelt like uh uh the. To, they wanted him to uh, uh, put the country back on a gold standard, balance the federal budget, crack down on labor, and generally to do whatever it would uh, it would, would would make business owners happy. Okay, okay. So, well, Roosevelt didn't comply. Nah, <laughs> I'm president. <laughs> you just you know citizens, right? Well, um. Uh, they they sort of got pissed off at that, right? Okay, an ugly mood began to sweep the business community. In the controversy of nineteen, in the controversy of nineteen thirty five article, right, the financier E. F. Hutton, right, said he felt the 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 pain of the stockholders. Wait a second, he's a businessman. Stockholders, over there. what about the workers? Okay, I'll leave that. Let me let me let me jump. Let me jump. Then E. F. Hutton did. Then E. F. Hutton urged his corporate colleagues to join forces and enlist in the cl- in a class war. I say, let's gang up on him. So E.F. Hutton was taking the manufacturers and the, and the you know, the bosses, whatever, and say, hey, we're going to make them we're gonna join together. We're going to gang up on the the masses, okay? Very interesting, okay? Uh, gang up on the elected government in Washington. That is, business leaders, uh, Business leaders E.F. Hutton said needed to build an unbroken front of upper class solidarity. There it is. There it is, folks. In black and white, I just want to say, folks. Um, the businessmen of the country, he urged, the owners of stocks and bonds or any other property. Okay, so you get the properties and the business people and stocks and then and the Wall Street all gang, ganging up here or against the Copping folks, the downtrodden, if you will. Uh, the holders of insurance policies and depositors of banks. Depositors of banks? Ooh, depositors in banks. Okay, whatever that means. Must realize that the only way to prevent uh, uh, regimentation, collectivism, or any other ism is for all groups to join together in one great group which would come to the help of individual uh, of any individual group that was attacked. So they're going to say, hey, the business, business had little groups, but you got to come together to protect each other. Okay, you got it. Now, here's what's interesting. You know, E.F. Hutton, I got this little footnote here. 
he's this now another achievement if helped me because you know you know that they that thing on, on Wall Street uh, when if had what has it how's it go uh, when if Hutton talk people listened okay but check this out here's what got my here's what got my attention all right another achievement for which if Hutton gained renown was his lifetime uh, in his lifetime was the construction of a fabulous mansion in Palm Beach Florida. Now, here's what got me. Because as you know, you know, uh, the current, the, the drunk man, right, the, the currently on the scene, the drunk man, he has his property, but everybody says it came from some sort of uh, Hollywood, something like that thing. But the property wasn't built by the Hollywood person. That probably Hollywood person just, you know, rented it, whatever it is, or bought it or whatever it is. But here's the kicker. That fabulous mansion in Pompey, Florida was named Mar-a-Lago. Oh, oh, oh. You get, you see? <laughs> I don't want to go any further. But you see how the, the worm turns? I Like things are, are not, let me keep my, my place here for the other thing I want to read. Um, you see? So think about it. Donald Trump, the drunk man, he his roots is 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 the organ the the the, the, the uh, what do you call it the, the manufacturers whatever organizing whatever it is like that you know the businessman against the whatever man that's his roots right okay at the same time right you have he's his space is 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 the 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 the, the, the root the rooter of the root you know the the E F Hutton he lives in E F Hutton's place right at the same time but before all this happened you know before uh, Roosevelt or whatever have you. Woodrow Wilson, right? Woodrow Wilson, I'm going to get back because I insist that Donald Trump's presidency is like Woodrow Wilson, okay? But that's just me, right? Well, Woodrow Wilson is like, you know, the racist that, you know, that 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 we're still reeling from, right? So we have we have the drunk man, he's both Woodrow Wilson and E.F. Hutton all into one. See that insight you get from reading? I just love reading. Okay, so uh, so this uh, I don't know if I'll be able to talk to you. This is the last of my little perch here. This is the the because I'm leaving. I'm traveling, traveling to the East Coast to where I'm traveling to New York, where the drunk man come from, right? His people landed in New York, and I did a whole bunch of deals and that and whatever have you. That's where I'm going. But I'll see you another time, okay? I being me, Teak from the Patterson, take the train to Tibet, let you know what I only suspect about what's going on here. Big white world, American world.